or anyone else in the White House to go to rules security officials, the career? No, I don't think I have the authority to do that. I'm not sure I do, but I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Um, you know, Jared's a good. I, I was, I was never involved with his security. I know that he, you know, just from reading, I know that there was issues back and forth mm-hmm. uh, about security for uh, for numerous people, actually. But I don't want to get involved in that stuff. There were some issues early on, and I, there are a lot of people that question whether you were given special treatment by the president, overriding other Absolutely officials. Not. Can you speak to that? There were anonymous leaks about there being issues, but the president had no involvement pertaining to my clearance or my husband's clearance. So what were the problems early on? There weren't any, other than a backlog that exists of close to a million clearances across government. This isn't new. Okay, so she directly lied to Abby Huffman on that. And also, oh, she has a top security clearance, too. That's interesting. Sarah Kenzior, neither of those lies had to be told, and yet they were. What does that say to you? Basically, uh, Trump has been grooming those two for a dynastic kleptocracy. You know, this is very common. This is something you see in autocracies. This is something you see in mafia states, where the leader will put his children or his relatives into office in order to keep the corruption going, keep the money flowing, not get caught, override prosecution. Of course, they're not going to admit openly to these crimes. But I have to say, this is like the 12th time I've been on your show (laughs) Jared Kushner and the fact that he lied on his clearance forms, that he's done illicit dealings, that he's giving away state secrets, and that he has a massive national security risk. And so is Ivanka Trump. The only way that we will be able to finally stop having this conversation on national TV is if if he is indicted. That is what needs to be done because this problem is enormous. It's going to persevere even if he is gone. He is carrying around this information. Other people are carrying around classified information. They do not have loyalty to country. They have debt. They have financial interests. They have personal interests. This problem needs to be handled now. It is ridiculous that we are in this deja news cycle where I appear on here, as do Malcolm and David and others, to have the same conversation again. Just indict Jared Kushner and indict Ivanka Trump and get this crime family out of the White House. You know, Sarah, you have the same sense of deja vu. It really, you do not, you're not alone in it. I feel like 